Once again, I was awoken bright and early in the morning by the roar of 12 P-47 Thunderbolts from the 391st Fighter Squadron starting up. They were heading off to hit some Axis defense positions. The Allied counteroffensive is still in full swing. At around 8.30 in the morning, I started to get strapped into good old bucket of bolts. Corporal Cypher already had my bird warmed up and was getting the seven other aircraft ready for today's sortie. Today we are covering the ground troops of the 2nd British Army. German ground attack aircraft have been striking the area repeatedly. ME-262 jet aircraft have been reported in the area as well. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back to another thrilling installment of our P-51 career with uh, Justin Hall here in the cockpit and we are continuing onward. We are actually doing a ground cover mission today which should be quite exciting. We're going to be covering our ground troops. So let's go ahead and focus on this takeoff for the time being and try to stay on the runway. I actually, well, just to <laughs> divert subjects here, I actually got new rudder pedals uh, which is quite exciting. I got some MFG crosswinds, uh, and I have to say they are in a significant improvement from my uh, previous rudder pedals, and I certainly notice a difference, and maybe you folks will as well just watching um, the video. So I should be able to uh, not be as jerky on the rudder at, like I am. I, I tend to jerk it a lot whenever taking shots and things like that, so it shouldn't be nearly as bad now. So we're going to go ahead and take off and turn off here. So let's go ahead and look at the map. As you can see, we are doing a ground cover mission near Lamel up here and covering elements of the second British army. Let's go ahead and turn and lower RPM back down just a smidge and fall into the number three position, which we are at right now. We are not dead last for once, which is quite nice. So anyway, oh, let's go ahead and bring her down some more. Looks like this man wants to go nice and slow. Hello! <laughs> Scary stuff. And we are getting some radio chatter about fighters, uh, engaging fighters. Apparently they are close, which is quite concerning. Our mission objective is not too far out, only around 20 or so kilometers away. So we should be there in really no time in these fast birds. Another thing I should mention is with the latest IL-2 patch, they did a whole bunch of AI improvements for one, which I want to mention, which is great and very well welcome. And they also fixed a lot of bugs, like the uh, bomber bug, that should be fixed now. But one other thing they did do is change the availability for certain equipment in the career. So like before, uh, in my P-51, I was able to choose the Bindex radio compass and the 150 octane fuel uh, before the historical date apparently and I was obviously using the 150 octane fuel and the Bindex radio compass because uh, why wouldn't you? But unfortunately for me now uh, I do not have access to that so as you can see my Bindex area is uh, completely vacant uh, there's no gauge there so I have no radio compass so I'll be navigating with the good old Mark 1 eyeball here I did decide to keep the uh, little icons off and I'll explain those other icons there. So we have this little circle, and I think this is to simulate uh, spotters and uh, radar and us being vectored in and such. So there are groups of enemies, and it's only in this little blue circle near the city of Lamel. But we can't see my little icon on the map or anything like that, so uh, I'll have to navigate using my eyes, which will be <laughs> oh, quite exciting, quite exciting. So I think that's all I really have to say for my little uh, pre-ramble as someone coined it. Let's go ahead and adjust our gun sight, however. We want to bring our range down to around 300 yards and also bring down our uh, target sight base to around 33 feet, which is standard for these German fighters, more or less, more or less. Now I have something on my monitor and I mistook it for an enemy plane, so that's a classic right there. Uh, they're still chatting about enemy fighters in the area. Uh, I actually am not seeing very much. Out oh, okay. I do see something way out there. Um, 11 o'clock. I don't know if you guys can see that with all the YouTube compression and such, but there is certainly something out there. It's actually interesting. I've been flying a lot of multiplayer, obviously with my co-op series, 
with uh, Mr. Tortuga Power, as I'm sure a lot of you know, but also um, with uh, someone by the name of Shamrock15, who runs the Stormbirds blog, the Flight Sim blog, and first off, it's really great content. I definitely recommend checking it out, and since I mentioned it now, I'll link it in the description below. And I also fly with a guy named John, who actually develops a flight sim called Roger Meatball, and I'll, I'll link that below as well. But we've been flying together, and we all have different strengths. And mine seems to be uh, spotting aircraft at absolutely ludicrous distances, uh, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how I do it. Um, maybe it's just a gift. Maybe it's my settings. I don't know. I have everything maxed out in game, so I don't really think it's that. But uh, I'm just good at spotting pixels, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but I actually have the uh, quote-unquote realistic visibility enabled right now in the difficulty section. But we are actually closing rapidly on these targets. I can't make them out. I actually think that might be a P-47 that just crossed in front of us, which is quite fun. And that is a twin-engine jet fighter. 12 o'clock. Okay. ME-262. ME-262s. Oh, God. I'm kind of scared now. Oh, they just merged. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna whip around. I am determined to shoot one down. My first jet kill. Pull a Chuck Yeager here. Well, he said he was asked, "What did you do when you first saw a 262?" And he uh, replied to that question with, "I shot it down," which is quite great. All right, so let's go ahead and maneuver on this thing six. Now, these guys are quite fast, but it doesn't seem like they are really flying them to their capabilities. I'm sure they are equipped. Oh, we already hit him. He's on fire. Let's go ahead and break off before he, uh, before we collide. And, yeah, he is smoking. That's our first jet kill right there. They're fairly easy to, uh, take down, as you would expect. Those, uh, engines are quite fragile. What's down there? It's a P-51. Alright, I do want to keep on the lookout since I can swing down. I'm sure these 262s are actually in the uh, strike configuration carrying bombs and such. So they're probably not being used to their fullest potential down here. And I have three contacts low swinging in down there. Oh, P-51 just roared by. And it looks like that 262 is still hanging out. Even though it's on fire. Uh, I guess the pilot didn't punch out. So someone might get my kill. But uh, you guys saw it. I guess that's what really counts. There's my flight of Mustangs. Breaking to the left. And I have two aircraft. One o'clock there. Three actually. Alright. Brent Watson stole my kill I think. Oh, nope, I actually got it. Phew, okay, so I did get an ME-262 kill. I mean, if Britt Watson did take my kill, I, I'd be happy for him. You know, congratulations, he shot down a jet. That is quite the feat, even though the jet was already in flames. <laughs> so we can actually check our map and see the radar station. It looks like we cleaned these guys out rather quickly. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the majority of my flight over here. I'm guessing that's the town of Lamel down there. Let's see, what do we got going on? Yeah, just my flight of Mustangs. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and bring her down to continuous. And uh, regroup with my flight and see if there's any anything else in the area. Any, any other aircraft we can really tangle with out here. It looks like we cleaned out those 262s rather quickly. But that was quite exciting, my first jet kill. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and maneuver around the area. We'll continue our combat air patrol above the uh, second British army. And these are the guys we're covering. And I will get back to you guys whenever we maybe find some more contacts. All right, one of my friends is just diving down below these clouds. So I think we might actually have something here. Let's go ahead and get down here. The clouds are pretty low, so I need to be sure I pull up just in time here. Okay, we have something here. That's a BF-109. Alright, let's go ahead and, oh boy, trim up, 
pull up? Okay, just in time there. All right, so there are baddies down here. Quite a few, it seems. The radio is still going ballistic, and I just saw someone on fire splash down over there by that forest, so let's go ahead and maneuver around here, bring RPM up and get into combat power. What do we have here? That's a Mustang. Well, maybe not. Maybe everyone was uh, cleared out. Oh, interesting. I'm sure my six is okay. Yeah, no one on my six. Man, my uh, my comrades are really just mopping the floor over here. <laughs> We're doing quite well for ourselves, it seems. Obviously, we won't know uh, exactly what's going on until the very end. What do we have there? Something going vertical. That's a Mustang. I don't know what he's following. All right, well, I guess I'll uh, regroup on my flight and keep on plucking along. Okay, I think we have a situation dead ahead. So there's a P-47 down there, and I think this might be a enemy. Yeah, it looks like a BF-109 from here. Oh, I can't be 100% certain. Yep, definitely a BF-109. So let's go ahead and try to get on a six here. Pull. Oh, he's smoking. There we go, more hits. Looks like I hit him right in a radiator. There we go, another good hit. Let's go ahead and use a static sight now. He's doing fairly good at invading these 50s, and there we go. She's going down. Right in flames as well. Another one bites the dust. So I think priority one number now. We are with our P-47 brother over here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and really try to relocate my flight now. So we're going to go ahead and zoom up above the clouds here and uh, circle about. What is back there? That looks like the, uh, the P-47. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look for my flight. Try to figure out exactly where they are. There's an aircraft. That looks like a Mustang, so I think I've uh, relocated at least two of them. Might have split up just a smit a little bit here. Oh, there's tracer fire. That's a P-47 ripping into, it looks like, probably a 109. He did pretty well for himself there. There's also another... Looks like there's another aircraft coming in towards that P-47. I don't know if he sees them yet. Let's go ahead and swing around and see. I don't want to leave uh, that guy by himself. If I can all, at all help it. Let's splash, there's the 109. I lost visual on the 47. Well, that is a very interesting looking airfield right there. It looks like uh, we're starting to head on home according to the radio. Yeah, I'm not seeing where those guys went off to. I don't see any tracer rounds down here, so I'm assuming the P-47 was able to make it on uh, away safely. My six o'clock is clear. Wow, that is a very cool looking airbase, though, I have to say. What's on it? It's all down there. It was like a B-25 right there. It's like some Tempest. Yeah, nice. We got some lag there. That is odd. Okay, uh, aircraft. It's like quite a few of them. I think this is my flight right ahead. Let's go ahead and check and see if it is them. And let's bring RPM down as well. Oh, tracer fire, actually. Let's go ahead and yeah, stay in combat power. Trying to make out what the heck is going on here. Um, oh boy, these are all Mustangs. Lots of ponies. P-47s flying right in front of us. So I think uh, we have the hunt on the run here. I think that is the enemy airplane right there. The one uh, leaking coolant. And we're going to go ahead and stick with this P-47 and cover him as he takes his shots. Oh my goodness, this is bananas. This is probably not... I'm going to go ahead and climb up just so I don't accidentally have a mid-air collision here. 
Uh, the sky's big, but it's not that big. <laughs> wow, we have uh, Mustangs, P-47s all ganging up on this war poor, with well, this one poor BF-109. Those uh, P-47s are sticking on them. Looks like the two Mustangs have taken the lead here. They really want this guy. <laughs> That's funny. Looks like the Mustangs are probably going to steal the kill. Yeah, you go, guys. This is our part of my squadron. I encourage it. Let's see, let's see how long it takes them to blow this guy out of the sky. If not, I'll go ahead and swing on in. And I just realized I wasn't uh, recording the whole sortie. Hopefully, it just sometimes it cuts off because I hit the uh, the little like limit for the recorder. Hopefully, I got some of those uh, cool shots in there. I'm gonna be a little upset if I didn't. Um, if not, and I don't have cutscenes, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize now. Sorry about that. You know that 109, I think, might not be going down. So uh, I'm gonna give them a little bit longer before I just go ahead and hop on. Man, I don't know if I want to go in there. Look at that. That's a freaking madhouse. I want to. I would just bail out if I were that 109. Oh my goodness. Get them, boys. Can't be that hard. All right, I'm gonna go on in there. I've uh, avoided. They've had their shot. Unfortunately, they blew it. Oh my gosh. Get all that tracer fire. I'm just worried about having a collision. Yeah, collision is definitely uh, my main worry here. But let's go ahead and uh, punch it. I'll just spray and pray for the moment. Hopefully bring her down. Okay, made my pass, got some hits. I'm really just trying to get in and out because of all of my friends that are just... This has to be a... Uh... <laughs> my, my squadron is going to get chewed out for doing this. So the, obviously the AI has improved. Still needs uh, a little work though, as you can uh, see from here. Let's try to avoid blacking out here. All right. Well, I think that 109 is probably the. There we go. It went down. Wonder who finally got it. it looks like uh, Charles Sanchez got him. All right, well, I think uh, our primary objective is still in progress, so we're going to go ahead and maintain our combat air patrol above this area. Okay, we finally made it home, the good old Y-29 right there, so we'll go ahead and come in for a landing. Land individually, and copy that. Lights on. And we'll go ahead and whip around the airfield, check the runway, make sure everything is all clear there and uh, come in for a nice and hopefully easy landing. Um, I know, whoa, 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 whoa. I guess that's that's our airfield right there. Oh, there's my dog. Yep, I guess that is my airfield. Not uh, whatever I was looking at, wherever it is. Another airfield out there somewhere, or am I just crazy? I could just be crazy, but that is definitely it. We see the flare, let's go ahead and launch a flare because it's fun and acknowledge that looks like the runway is clear so let's go ahead and sweep it around and we'll go ahead and come in for a nice decent landing here my landings are definitely the weakest part and that's mostly due to me just rushing them uh, if I actually took my time and came in for a nice easy landing I have a feeling that I would <laughs> I would, uh, you know, nine times out of ten do a decent job, but, uh, of course, I tend to rush things, as most of you guys do now. But I'm going to try to uh, stop doing that so much. 
let's go ahead and I guess I cannot request landing clearance or anything. I guess we already have it, and they said just break off and land at your own discretion, which is fine. Let's go ahead and fly off a bit and swing back around and we'll come in for final approach. Currently going still pretty fast, close to 300 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and try to bring that down just a smidge as we uh, turn in for final here. Looks like my friends are already beginning their turn. But I'll go ahead. Go into this turn, kill off a good chunk of airspeed. Is this guy going in? I think this guy's going in first. Well, if that's the case, I'll go ahead and I'll wait for him to land, I suppose. Oh, maybe he's not going in. Yeah, I think he's letting me go first, which is very sweet of him. Alright, flaps down. Gear down. Bring flaps down. Bring them down all the way. And we're going to land off to the side once again. Shoot. One bounce. Man. Okay. Not bad. Definitely could have been better. This plane just is so fast. I, I think that's takes some getting used to. It's not like the World War One planes I've been landing here. But uh, let's go ahead and taxi off the runway. All right, landed. I think I didn't actually damage my aircraft. A few bounces, but uh, overall serviceable. Let's go ahead and uh, try to avoid getting her in the snow, actually. And taxi off onto uh, this taxiway and over to one of those hangars. Why not finish the sortie out like that? This aircraft is actually really nice to taxi compared to uh, some of the other fighters, like the Spitfire. Although, I don't really have issues with the 109. I know that thing was notorious for uh, being a pain in the butt on the ground, but... Uh, I don't find it too bad. And I don't normally do this, but uh, why the heck not? Go ahead and bring it over here towards one of these uh, little areas. Looks like this the P 47's over there. There's a Mustang there. Alright, well, this will be good enough for. Uh, for my purposes, let's check for damage, and it looks like the plane is uh, good as new. No damage at all, so overall that is very good in my book. The gear is intact, despite the little little bounces there, but overall not shabby at all. I do need to work on landing this thing. Uh, it just, like I said, it's so fast, it's uh, really taking some getting used to. All right, let's go ahead and finish the mission and see how we did. I know, I forgot to mention, I actually, that one BF-109 I took shots at that everyone was chasing, I think I did get it. So I did get credit for it, yeah. So this is what happened, uh, the flight record size limit was reached there. So I was recording, hopefully I'll be able to get those uh, cool cinematic shots of me shooting down the planes that everyone likes. All right, so it was a fairly short mission uh, for once, 28 minutes. Three planes were shot down. We got two light aircraft, which I'm assuming are the BF-109K4 since we did shoot two of those down. And I guess the ME-262 is considered a medium aircraft. And it was actually fairly easy to shoot down, and I do contribute that to uh, the bomber configuration. It was probably in. Um, going back and reviewing the footage obviously will give me yeah, a better idea of that. But I do think that is uh, what happened there. I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink. All right, let's go ahead and see. I have been awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross and three Oak Leaf Clusters. How exciting. Let's go ahead and go to the planning room and see how everyone, everyone made it back. And Thomas Smith, our flight lead, actually shot down one airplane. And he shot down a 262 as well. So in total, that was a very good sortie. Four of us, four aircraft destroyed and everyone made it back home. Uh, there's another mission later in the day. They're gonna go escort some bombers. Let's see how they do just for uh, uh, giggles. Mm, 
Delicious water. Best drink ever. And let's see, everyone made it back on the escort mission, so no losses today, thankfully. Let's go ahead, let's just go to next day, see what we have in store for us during our next sortie, and then uh, I'll get you guys out of here. Just because I, I do like to see uh, what goes on in our next sorties, you know, what, what happens. It is fun. Uh, we just got promoted on the 29th, so I don't think we have another promotion coming, unless they're uh, feeling really frisky. Air operations were suspended on the 30th. All right. Heavy weather, clouds, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, looks like I am flying another ground troops cover mission on uh, the 31st, and <laughs> I'm dead last once again. But that's okay. Also, we have January 1st coming up, which uh, is a very important day, as some of you might know. So anyway, that is going to be all for this here episode. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.